Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. This video is a second part of my sketchbook practice where I am sketching a female face. In this video I will explain all the basic steps of drawing her hair. Uh, if you want to see me drawing the process of drawing the face, please check out my previous video. I'm sorry for my voice. Uh, I lost my voice before, but it's getting better. So I hope you don't mind. Uh, we can start with the drawing process. I usually start drawing hair using HB or 2B pencil. HB is great to draw the basic outlines and then 2B pencil for the basic layer of shading. You can see me drawing the hair in the same direction using contour shading technique, following the shape of the head. The hair has always some volume, so I always make sure to create some volume above the head. Uh, also, the hairline usually lies somewhere in the first quarter of the head. I will also find where the middle part is and draw the hair in the direction in which they grow naturally. Also try to push the pencil a little more in the beginning and then release the pressure gradually towards the end of the stroke, uh, which is creating gr nice gradual effect of the shading. So the reference picture I was drawing from was cut right at the top of her head, so I couldn't see the top of the head. Uh, this might happen quite often, uh, but no worries, you can try to find the same picture of her in various versions. Uh, maybe you'll find the original uncut version, but I did not, so I found few pictures of Taylor where she was wearing the same or similar hairstyle to see how the hair looked like. I use a soft paintbrush for blending in here. It uh, does not blend all the strokes away, so they can create little illusion of texture. Then I will take 4B pencil and shade the darkest areas of hair. I'm not drawing much texture for now, just adding the shading. Uh, as you can see, there's already created a highlight in the hair. Uh, again, I use the contour shading technique and I push a little more uh, the pencil uh, against the paper in the beginning and gradually release the pressure towards the end of the stroke to create gradual shading. If you want to know more about shading the face, uh, you will find a commented uh, real-time version on my Patreon account. I share there most of my videos in real-time, also more drawing tips, tutorials, and there also, uh, there's also a possibility to select a tier with individual consultation, so make sure to check that out, uh, I will add the link to the description. After the shading process and the blending, I add more texture using HB pencil. I do not try to draw every single hair, just to separate some strands. Uh, also, please keep in mind, this is not a full tutorial on how to draw realistic hair. I just wanted to show you how I draw hair in my quick sketches during the sketchbook practice. Then you can take softer pencil to darken some areas. Uh, the shadows are usually in places where the hair strands overlap each other.
then I use an eraser to create some more highlights in the drawing. To make the hair look more natural, it is always great to add some messy hair. I use harder pencils because they help me to create nice thin light lines. Uh, in this case, I'm using HB pencil again. Now I will follow the same process on the second half of the head. Thank you for watching my video, I hope it was helpful for you, if yes please give it a thumbs up, share it with your friends and make sure to subscribe. Also check out my Patreon account where you will find the real time version, fully commented version of uh, this video, I will add the link to the description and I will see you in my next video, bye!